have this really weird target. And about a week ago, an astronaut knocked on our door with this tin, and it's a moon goo puddle. And his name is Derpy, because it looks like he's got a little derpy face. And just look at this. It's really gross. And, like, whenever you just slowly touch it, it's, like, liquidy. But whenever you punch it, it stays hard. It's really weird stuff. And we got seven different guns out here today, and we're gonna blast this thing. Now let's get started. In Demo Ranch style, we're gonna be starting small with a 22 long rifle with a Winchester silver tip out of my Ruger SR-22. Now let's blast Moon Goo. Ready? Ready. Did we stop it? No. It Wait. went through? It's right there. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's cool. Nice I think crater it there. It expanded because it was a hollow point. It went all the way through and it's right there. Like The way that this 22 went right through it, it was very fun to watch, but I don't think it's going to stop much. So, Prepare to watch Moon Goo go flying. All right, for our next gun, we have my 380 Browning 1911, and we have a Sierra Sportsmaster. I just want to see Moon Goo go flying. All right, one-handed. Ah, oh, moon goo. It rained moon goo. I got it in my eye. <laughs> moon goo, I'm sorry. That did a lot of damage. Uh, did it come through? Nope. No, it didn't. It's still in there. Yeah, or it flew out the top. All right, for our next gun, we have the HK VP9, and HK is actually letting us borrow it for a little bit longer, so we're gonna have some fun with it. And we are loaded up with a Sierra Outdoor Master. Ready? Ready. Still raining moon goo. <laughs> Did it come out though? Oh, it came right out. Did it? It came right out the bottom. Oh, dang. There might be a 380 in there, there though. There might be, yeah. Oh, I thought that's a bullet. It's the it's side of the pan. If you saw our Kentucky Roulette video, we had a lot of fun doing that. And we are actually going to load the revolver doing that. I do not know where it's going to land. Uh oh. <laughs> There it went. That was crazy, and it did not come out. We got moon goo everywhere out here. We're losing half the tub already. <laughs> I'm going to throw this at you. That 357 blew most of our moon goo away, and it's just like a Grand Canyon right now, so we'll have to start being like bulldozers and pushing a mound yeah. in there for the other rounds. All right, let's do it. All right, for our last handgun round, we have the... Ruger 10mm 1911, and we have 180 grain uh, hollow point. All right. Ready? Ready. I think it's stuck 
stuck in the trees. That was at least twice as powerful as the 357. Um, when it comes to how much it removed. Where's the pan? Yeah, exactly. Hold on. Wow, look at this. It completely blew the whole front of the pan open. Might as well just make a big pile of it now. We scooped together everything that we could find and we're just gonna destroy it with the 300 blackout. Now let's blast it. We're loaded up with some 125 grains. Prepare to die. Ready? Ready. Oh my gosh, where is Moon Goo? All right guys, it turns out that Moon Goo is definitely not very bulletproof, as you can see here. We had a lot of fun destroying Moon Goo, and thanks to that astronaut who gave it to us. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, just like we had a lot of fun making it. So, thanks for watching Autumn's Armory, and we'll see you next time.